Hey guys, girls and days and guys who guys are watching my video. Happy Pride y'all. Just imagine hair is a rainbow. I don't know how to edit that hair. Just use your imagination. And oh my god, I look like I'm fucking naked, bro. By the way, look at my nails. I did it myself. Look how pretty this this is. Well, I uh, kind of break this nail, so now it looks weird and wonky. But let's not pretend I have not seen my fair share of weird and wonky stuff. If you know what I'm saying, and I think you do. This whole video is just going to focus on the LGBTQ representation in mainstream Bollywood. So either it's featuring on the theaters or Amazon Prime or Netflix or any other big platform. Is that clear? Because I don't want all of you, ah, oh, you didn't mention that, mm, you didn't mention that, mm, you didn't mention. I mentioned whatever I could. You want to mention that? Go make your own fucking video. The first movie that we're going to talk about is Kapoor and Sons. Now this movie was released in 2016 and it is ironically directed by Mr. Karan Johar. It's mostly family drama. The majority of the movie you do not even realize that Fawad is gay, which is already a red flag. This movie has very poor execution of a gay character or the struggles that a gay person goes through. It was rushed. There was a lot of drama added between the mother and the son and their dialogue. But it is extremely hard for them to understand you and for you to understand where they're coming from and to come to a you know place. So it's not a bad plot. It's not a bad side plot, okay? Family issues, the whole movie is about goddamn family issues. So why not put a gay kid in it and nuke the whole thing up? Good. But if it would have been exposed in the start of the movie and you would have seen the progression of Fawad and his character, you know, how he correlates to different characters, how he correlates and how his relationship develops with every other character, it would have been nice to see. But all we get is a weird love triangle that never really happens. And a lot of people have this opinion that the movie is kind of queer betty. I would say it's not. I would disagree right there because the def by definition, queer bidding is showing that there might be gay stuff in the movie and then not showing it or not making it canon. <laughs> but this stupid movie does not even contain mildly anything about sexuality. So it's not queer bidding. I think the movie's purpose was to educate people to, you know, through family drama, through emotion, invoke a sense of empathy towards gay people without risking the movie itself. Because I get it. I rated a, a generous two. So this next movie is called Aligarh. It was also released in 2016, just like Kapoor and Sons, but it's so much better. Like this is just gonna have another rating. Starts off with the first main character, Dr. Siraz. He's an older man, he lives alone, he teaches Marathi literature in the University of Aligarh, and he's homosexual. One night he's having a good jolly time with another guy, and he's caught. He's caught because two intruders literally God knows could do anything with you and they did a lot. They literally beat the shit out of him and his uh, quote unquote friend and they take very compromising photos of them. Make what you will of that. Very next day he's kicked out of the university and because you know they condemn homosexuality and there's no such thing as privacy or being concerned for the safety of your own teachers. But he just literally just entered halfway murdered your Marathi teacher but nobody gives a shit about that. People are making false assumptions, false accusations, you know just basically making his life a living hell as if it was not already. <laughs> For being that old and alone and have minimum wage to just, you know, go on by every day, do things with random boys from the street. He literally hooks up with the rickshaw. Now there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm just telling you that. How random is that? That you sit in a fucking rickshaw and you think, hmm, my auto is Somebody really desperate would do that, okay? And it's really sad. It's really sad because even though, you know, in this era, we we like to think that, oh no, gays are everywhere. They're, they're not. If I open my grinder right now, you'll see at least 50 to 60 people within two to three miles. And I'm the only, only openly gay or LGBTQIA person in my area. There's one scene in the movie in particular that I love. Our generalist is having a kind of an intimate moment all of a sudden with a random chick. And then on the parallel side, you go from the heterosexual couple to the homosexual 
couple they're you know just <laughs> it's a very good and artistic way to show without saying much portray that how both of these are just human sexuality and as normal as you would feel watching a guy hooking up with a random girl so you should be able to feel the same way when a when two guys hook up with each other or two girls hook up with each other it shouldn't be different because it's just human sexuality so I can really safely say Alligator has to be one of the top tier gay Bollywood movies I've watched. From the fact that the movie is so fucking good and so emotional and thought provoking, I'll give this a 7.5. Um, let's just act like nothing really happened because <laughs> uh, my relatives came yesterday so my whole video got fucked up like my life whenever they come. Now moving on to the next movie, this movie is called Badhaido. Uh, if you haven't heard about it, I, I seriously cannot recommend this enough. This story revolves around there's Shardul, our main character, who is a police officer and he's gay. So I like that, that from the get go they established that hey, he's gay. And then our story actually opens with our female protagonist or the main heroine in this movie which is Suman, who is a lesbian. There's a scene that I personally really love that the movie did. Mr. Shardul, he is dating a much younger guy who is in college and they show their whole romance. They show them kissing, they show them fighting. I was really impressed that they showed it in such a lovey-dovey rose lens, you know, like their whole gay romance. That was really cute. Another thing I really liked about the movie is that they, the movie has a build up. It shows their actual struggle, it shows their coming, you know, more, they're, they're getting more comfortable with their own sexuality and being able to tell their family. It's a good movie. All in all, I really, really like the whole character development. The comedy, even though the comedic effect has nothing to do with this video, it still added a lot of fun into watching it because otherwise it would have just been very, I don't know, like sad, not that anything's wrong with that. Anigar was like that, loved it. But you know, I enjoyed it even more because it's a good laugh and you can watch it with your family, you know, without it being too heavy on you. I want to mention one of my favorite characters has to be Suman's girlfriend. <laughs> Iconic bro. Half of the reason I like this movie is because of her. So this would be a solid 9 for me. I would have given it a 10 if it was mo <laughs> This movie is called Shibmangal Zada Sabdhan. This movie focuses on our two main characters, which are Aman and Karthik. They, they are a couple, they fall in love. One of the really good things about this movie that I can actually give it a little bit of credit for, I think is the first cinema guy on guy kiss. They just did it. They just did it out of nowhere. And I think that's a monumental moment for Bollywood. It does not indulge you into the gayness of the characters in, in their struggles of everyday life, you know, in coming to terms with their sexuality. Again, these, this is the thing that I find with most of these movies. None of these movies focuses on one, their, their struggle with the sexuality, which most Hollywood movies do, like Love, Simon, again, Brokeback Mountain or Call Me By Your Name. All these movies have that one thing common. They show the teenage struggle, which I think is the most relatable thing and, you know, puts them on such a high. Hi, it's me editing and it's 12 in the night. I completely l not deleted the clip where I read the movie. Personally, it wasn't that great, so I don't want to talk about it. But also, like, it was, like, kind of one of the first of its time. So let's give it a solid seven. This movie is the one that I actually enjoyed watching, but I still have mixed opinions about it. I'll let you know why. The movie's name is Chandigarh Kare Ashiki, and it's a recent movie. It was released in 2021, again, starring Ayushman Kurana. He does a lot of these movies now these days, which good on him, because goddamn, this is how his character look. Like, forget talking about anything else. Like, the least amount of points you're getting is five. Like, I'm sorry, I'm gay, I'm vulnerable to this shit. Oh no. This is the first movie that we're gonna talk about, which actually features a transgender character who is not played by a transgender girl, actually, which is sad to begin with. The story and the romance between our main character, Manu, and the Manvi, who's a trans woman. And now Manu is a very gym guy in this scenario, you know, very desi gym guy. And then Manvi is like a Zumba girl. She comes to his gym and do Zumba. And the whole movie revolves around 
them getting into a romance and them doing but then Mami gets too emotionally attached with Manu and even Manu does she feels like that he should know about the entire truth so she comes out to him and he responds in the most horrible way in the most violently transphobic way you could the movie goes out of its fucking way to show his transphobia and about the representation of the trans girl we do see a lot we see her struggle with her family obviously we see a lot of struggle with her relationships and in the past in all fairness i'd give this movie a seven for representation it was good to see a transgender woman's story 70 percent of the movie felt like we're watching from the perspective of ayushman of the guy why are we watching this movie from the perspective of manu and his struggle coming to terms with her you know gender identity dude the movie shouldn't be about you <laughs> it should be about her can we do that and it does that but to a much lesser degree than i would have liked so i'm gonna give it a seven otherwise it would have been much higher on this list and with that we finished this video i hope you guys really enjoyed it also if you're into makeup i hope you are and you like what i did here go check my instagram it's a link in the bio and a happy pride month to you mm -hmm.